is an uh, impromptu, so we're just going to be in so bear with us. Um, but I just thought we'd tell you a little bit about ourselves. So I'll go first. My name is Lacey, and I was born and raised in Colorado, Denver, Colorado. And I also live in Nebraska, a little town called Mount Platt, probably in Nebraska. I moved to Texas about a year and a half ago just because I got a scholarship that has some friends out here, and I figured why not check out a new place. Um, and I also started out with Verizon as a retail specialist and got into the, the business side of things because, well, specifically small to medium businesses because I feel like it gives more service to my job to where I can help um, businesses in the communities grow and develop. Um, you know, that's closer to my heart than kind of what I was doing in this store. So, yeah, right now I'm also going to school at Texas Women's University. I should be graduating next next May, um, and I'm going for business to end in Minneapolis. A lot of people ask me what I do in my free time, and that's a really hard question because it's like nothing sleep. <laughs> um, but I, I love to dance, so whenever I can find the free time, dancing is, is my go-to for sure. What type? Every type. Every type. Yeah, every type. I really like salsa. I really like the pasta. Those are my two favorites, but I try to dabble. Okay, well, my name is Crystal, and I'm also at the Murphy store. So I started with Verizon back in February. So next year, the no, next month, I will be in a year with Verizon. Um, I was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota, but my parents raised me in Mexico, Puebla. Um, I was brought here to back to Texas when I was 10. Um, what else? Um, but yeah, um, I'm currently trying to go to Lacey's position, which is SMP, uh, the business side of Verizon. Uh, we'll have an interview tomorrow, so I'm super excited. Yeah. Wish me luck, please. <laughs> um, with her boss. So, um, he's really nice. I, I think I got this. Um, <laughs> but besides that, I know most of you guys have uh, Verizon already, but we are currently just trying to get as many leads as we can. So if you have anybody that, um, that you know that might be struggling with their service, I know that um, a lot of people complain about drop calls or just not getting enough out of their internet is not fast enough for them, uh, please let us know. We can easily send them a phone with just an email. We can uh, follow up with them and ask them what don't they like about it or what can we fix or how can we help them. So, um, yeah, and as you guys know, I say it every week, but you can save a lot of money on the business side as far as activation fees. All those are ways that the plans are a lot less expensive as well. Um, but another benefit to being on the business side is you have me directly kind of to go to class for you, you know what I mean? So I know a lot of people think about Verizon, oh, this is a good place, what if I have problems with my bill, what if I need to call customer service and wait on the phone for two hours? You have me, right? So I have my personal connections with people in customer service, you know, my boss. Um, and that really seems to make a difference. Um, I work for Verizon, but I treat my position as if I'm running my own business because I'm in competition with a lot of other people that have the same position that I do, so I want to keep the, the people coming back to me, right? And in my experience, the only way to do that is to treat them well and to go to bat for them when they come into any issues. So that would be like the number one benefit of you know, working with me and having to go to bat for you. I'll give you guys an example. During Christmas, Brian's really on alert for fraud, especially on the business, because some reason it's easy to forge business documents, which is crazy. But I had this business customer and we set her up on Black Friday. Um, and she was marked for fraud because there was no usage on her account. And they were just like shutting line off at that point because it was so bad. Um, but she wasn't fraud. I knew her personally, like we had gone through everything. It was just like a fluke in the system where it wasn't registering her usage. Um, but I mean, I was on the phone for almost four hours getting that straightened out for her. You know what I mean? So she didn't have to do that. She has like three kids, a, a business, you know, she's busy. Um, but I took care of that for her and I really take pride. And a lot of people still think that for, when they think about Verizon, they think about expensive. I mean, especially with going to the business, how you guys own business. So with the business accounts, there's a lot of prices that we can compete with. We're not the most, uh, I guess, cheapest one, but uh, we are the most reliable one. So as far as your first responders, your military, your municipal, they all use Verizon. So our towers are all around. We, we offer a reliable network. And pretty, pretty much, uh, every single one of you guys do need that. Um, your phone is your one number one source of, to network and also to get your business. So if you don't have
have your phone working and you can't search something up, you're not going to have that uh, good experience with um, with your uh, with your business. Uh, oh, and uh, something Crystal said just remind me. As far as business cover customers, we can double dip with military. So if you have our business and you are current or prior military, then you get you double the discounts. Uh, so that's something you would. <coughs> That's how it's hard to get other things in the 
the next time you go into a store, of course I would prefer to be bright, but if it's not bright, then whoever you're um, working with, just be very detailed on what you want it to do and what you don't want it to do. And if it doesn't seem like a person that's helping you is really like being considerate of that, work with someone else. Mm -hmm. So, so is uh, when we go to this fantastic 5G where well, they can track me down to the they can already push that. <laughs> are, is, are they going to start jamming my 4G so that forces me to go outside? So, the answer to that is yes, but it's going to take a while, right? So we just phased out 3G phones, right? And we're all the way up to 5G. So eventually it will happen, but it's not going to be like, oh, 5G's out, you've got to get rid of your phone and get a 5G phone. You'll have a couple years. You might be pressured to, because a lot of people are going to have it. So that, that, that was my question. So we're able to post on Facebook faster than you. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right, exactly. I'm going to be an Are they answering questions that nobody's asking? Right. They will obsolete, but the, uh, they're just obsoleting 2G at the end of this year. So it's going to take, they, they have probably a five year period to five to eight year period before they'll get around obsoleting 4G. Well, by the end, I will even be here. It'll be a bad hybrid here. You have all your answers, all your questions already. Um, I think you, yeah. I'm curious. We're talking about phones and things like that, but if I were to open a brand new office and I needed, you know, some kind of network connectivity, phones, whatever, what other business services do you offer other than phones? I'm glad you asked about that. So. Um,